we just think that uh, we can beat any team. It uh, doesn't matter if they're ranked one, doesn't matter if they're ranked a thousand. Uh, we just come in, um, we uh, prepare to play every team pretty much the same way. Uh, we don't really do anything different than we would do usually, except just come in and play hard. Talk about the uh, the technical foul, what happened there? Um, uh, I guess I just kind of lost my, um, uh, lost my uh, um, control over my emotion. I said some words that I shouldn't have said. They weren't towards the ref, but the ref heard me say it. And I got a tech. That was my second tech ever in uh, my life. So, wow. I mean, it, it hurts because, I mean, uh, I feel like that, that was the turning point of, of the game, I feel like. So it, it just, it just kind of hurts me. But, you know, I have to learn from it and get uh, better from it. Right. Great. Uh, nobody in the country thought we would win the game. So I just told them, you, you got to go out there. We believe you. And you got to prove yourself. And, uh, that's life. You're always going to have to prove yourself. And I thought our guys did a really good job for that for the most part. They are a good team. Yeah. Are you encouraged? I mean, I'm very encouraged. Um, we took we took steps forward tonight, and uh, you know they're the fifth rated offensive efficiency team in the country, and so they they know where the ball is supposed to go. If you try to take one thing away. They're hitting that guy that you're trying to take away. They're just they're really smart. They're, they're crafty, and uh, they take they take advantage of, of your mistakes. Well, Brandon just said that he apologized to the team for letting him down with the technical. He swore he wasn't swearing at the ref, but he takes responsibility for you know kind of a turning point in that team. That, that says a lot about it. No question. Um, you know what I like is I told him it's the first time he's shown emotion. However, you have to be able to channel that emotion in the right direction. And uh, that's what I sort of talked to him. I said, by no means did that have, I mean, that had an impact on the game. But don't think like you lost the game because of that. And that's what kids think. Um, so I sort of talked to him about that. But he's got to learn from it and not let it happen again and, and grow from it. Um, and he will, because he is a good kid. But I'm glad he showed emotion. I just wish he didn't say it out loud. I wish he would have taken care of it and walked away and yelled at himself or something. But it happens and uh, you know it's a learning point for him. What kind of load is Jock Landale in that, in that post? I mean this kid he's, he's pretty shooting seventy five percent. Yeah he's he's just he's really good, you know you you know we, we we went into it thinking should you double team you mean, he's better against a double team than most teams are when they double. So he's ready for that. Um, and it's something he hasn't, you know, he's always seen. So we didn't do that, and we wanted to play him one on one. And but, you know, I think yeah, he scored the ball. But I think the passes he made to the Hermanson kid in the corner. Um, but that's what they do. They do it every day, and they're they're they're, they're well drilled with it. Um, I think he's a really good player. Um, he has a chance to, to play at the next level for sure. Hillsman of San Jose State, a career high 16 points. Uh, talk about your effort tonight versus uh, the 15th ranked team in the country, St. Mary's. Uh, it was really just about our execution as a team. You know, uh, coach sets up the right plays, and it's, it's about our execution. I just happen to be the one uh, to to make some shots today. Uh, I wish <laughs> I wish it would have came out with a W, but you know, things happen. So. And you were one of three players today to score in double figures. That's the case, right, Dominic? Three players to score in double figures. Uh, what do you think of the uh, offensive uh, game plan uh, that what made, allowed that to happen? Uh, I really, it, it really doesn't matter to me. Uh, I, I would rather us all score like ten plus, you know, so so that we can we, we, we can we can all thrive as a team. Everybody's involved. Everybody's happy. Everybody's moving forward, and I feel like that that would be better for us as a team. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, honestly, the, the, the stats don't really matter. It's, it's, it's about wins at the end of the day. Right. JC, can you tell us uh, about the flow in the first half when it was uh, back and forth between the two teams in a tight game? Uh, yeah, I mean, it was, a, it was a great game. It was a great environment to be in. Uh, well, I mean, like I said, coach, coach set up the right plays, put us in the right situations to execute. And we, we did that in the first half. Second half, we, we weren't as aggressive going to the, uh, getting to the line. And uh, that, that, that definitely hurt us. It, it, we couldn't stop the bleeding when, when they went on their run. Did uh, going to the free throw line and, and hitting all your free throws um, and getting some buckets to go in the first half give you a little confidence? Uh, definitely, definitely. It, it, it always helps to see the ball going. So.
Coach normally told us to attack the basket, you know, see, let, let, let the ball go in, and uh, make a free throw. Anything else for JC? No, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.